from day three at Royal Ascot is about three things. The races, the fashion, and of course the weather. And I can deliver sunshine here and across the country with things warming up as we head into next week. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. It is what everybody wants. So Ascot is really about three things, isn't it? It's about the racing, it's about the fashion, and also the weather. It just changes everything. So if you are heading to Ascot over the next few days, the weather is fine, dry, pleasantly warm. Today is Gold Cup Day, affectionately known as Ladies' Day, and all eyes will be on the fashion. And the big theme this year, they had their very first brand new creative director, Daniel Fletcher. We're talking to him later on with our very own Charlotte Hawkins. And it's all about being more sustainable with your fashion. So so either wearing vintage or wearing things that are hired. So my hat is hired and this dress that I'm wearing I've had for about 10, maybe 15 years. So I'm class clothes. So this is the perfect occasion to actually wear something from your wardrobe or hire something. We're looking at some more of the fashion later on today for the 250,000 race goers that will be here over the next five days. And here's how the weather's looking. Well, if you are heading to Ascot today, the weather is looking like it's going to be into the low, maybe even mid-20s. A little bit cloudier as we head through to Friday, and Saturday itself is staying fine as well. And we have full coverage starting on ITV4, and then on ITV1 and ITVX later on today. The first race at half one, and the race, last race is at 6.30. So yes, the going is good here, and if you want warmth and sunshine, the going is good in the forecast as well. Largely fine and dry today, a little cloudier in the northwest, and the satellite and radar picks at a little bit of shadow mist and fog around first thing this morning that will soon lift and break today a little bit more cloud across the northwest a weak weather front bringing perhaps the odd light spot of rain but for many of us it is fine and dry and temperature wise it's above average across the board we're looking at low maybe mid 20s across the south and east but today is the summer solstice which means the sun is at its strongest for the time of year today we have the longest length of day and uv levels today will be high or very high and hay fever sufferers also beware pollen levels are high or very high and remaining that way through the next few days. A very good morning to you from day three at Royal Ascot. It's Gold Cup Day, but affectionately known as Ladies' Day, hence my hat and outfit. And let me give you some numbers. There'll be 250,000 people here over the five-day event, consuming 65,000 bottles of champagne over the five days of the meet, hoping to win and toast to glory. Now, the winner at the moment is the weather. It's fine, dry and sunny, and it stays that way if you're coming to Ascot for the next few days. Temperatures low 20s, not too hot, just right indeed. But remember, today, the summer solstice, the sun is strong so whatever you're doing today in the sunshine make sure you wear that sun cream now it's high pressure that dominates as we head through the next few days a weak weather front moves in from the west tomorrow bringing with it some cloud and rain but the outlook is fine dry and warm and actually turning even warmer into next week more on that in just a moment here's how things look for today it is dry and fine to start this morning some shallow mist and fog will soon burn off a little more cloud across the northwest but here that could produce the odd spot of rain but for many of us dry temperatures above average across the board and we're looking at 24 or maybe 25 degrees as our top temperature. But how do things pan out as we head through the next seven?